starting his interview immediately. The Sheepdogs are here. Gentlemen, I gotta say first, thank you so much for that party invite, man. That was a blast. I love that, man. It was a good time, yeah, man, absolutely. Yeah. It was like people were going left and right. Like, who inspired, like, who was thinking about, let's do a party in Edmonton and let's just get the people coming out like whoever's jumping up on stage or what was it you yeah I mean there's there's a lack of fun parties that are geared towards artists we wanted to have an artist party and you know a lot of people thought it was just we were doing a show and we were like no we just wanted to have a place we could hang out so we rented a hall and had a little like, Western Canadian hall party yeah no it was a blast but more importantly I love seeing you guys get nominations man congratulations on that how does it feel not just being nominated but like I was talking to you guys before that category anybody could have won that thing man because it was stacked to the to the levels that's good it meant that we weren't really expecting to win so we could just chill out <laughs> <laughs> just chill out and have a good time no oh, man it was really about great music talk a little about the album man because like i said it it it, it was cool it was very cool it had that 70 ish 60 is cool to it that's fine man every album is a little bit different we try and try and stay true to ourselves and uh, push the envelope a little bit I guess and this is a real fun one for us and you know it, it's a cliche to say it's an uh, honor to be nominated but we're really proud to get a nomination for this one. So what's going to happen now man? Are we looking tour wise? Are we looking new music? What's happening? Yeah I mean we're going to Australia in April that's sort of the next oh, next big step for us so crossing continents it's going to be fun and then yeah just back to what we do playing all the time and rocking and rolling. And any chance are we going to see anything in Toronto maybe? You never know. Keep your eyes peeled. No, I'm not sure yet. Maybe uh, maybe this summer. We'll see. Okay, man. Well, yeah. Fingers are crossed. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Congratulations. Like I said, Thanks, always buddy. great talking to you guys. Thanks, bud. First, congratulations on the new series. How did it feel finally debuting? I, didn't you have a party for this or something? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had a premiere party, which was awesome. It's very surreal seeing the show on air, but we're so proud of it. and It's making a really big impact already, and only three episodes are out, so pretty good. So did you ever think having a show like that will get you to the Junos, not just walking the red carpet? I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, are you actually presenting an award? Yeah, I'm presenting an award, one of the biggest awards of the night, which is a, a lot of pressure and stress, but I'm just oh, so grateful, so grateful for these opportunities. Now, how do you prepare for something like that when you know, I mean, you've been prepared for everything out there in life. But nobody ever turned around and said, hey, guess what? We're going to add one more thing on this. Yeah. You're going to have to present at the Juno Awards. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can prepare for something like this. I've been, you know, mentally preparing myself. But just the excitement and, like, I've been on adrenaline since I got here this morning. And I'm, I'm just trying to, like, enjoy it. No, you deserve to enjoy it. Do we know anything yet about a season two? We don't know yet. But for, as far as I'm concerned, it's happening. Well, you know what, either way, you are a breakthrough individual, um, not just being on this red carpet, but your show and everything else. You're inspiring, and I cannot wait to see what else you're going to be doing. Congratulations, and have fun tonight. Uh, thanks, Rudy. That means a lot. He's coming Thank over you. here right now is a gentleman that, if we had to talk about, I can't even say how many interviews that we have done over the years my brother it is great to see you because when we talk it's never just about hey you got a song released or whatever it is a nomination it is a win it is always something like that i love how your career has progressed from the first day that we spoke and it's been a journey it's been a hell of a journey to say the least right like it started 10 years ago from a competition i was i was just a kid who had a dream just like a lot of the artists here right it all starts from somewhere but you know, I really, really appreciate the journey, and it's it's all about the journey, right? To take those steps forward and grow and experience. So, but it's not just about the music. You know, you're a family man. Yeah. You know, how has that changed you, and how has that changed the music for you? I think just experiencing real life. You know, it's it's not it's not so much just like head down, create, create, create. You gotta you gotta look up once in a while and look at the landscapes and feel things that are not solely just in the music industry. A little bit of life in your soul is always always a good thing, right? Uh, but yeah, being being a father and and having a family has definitely put things into perspective and just like made me reflect a little bit more on, on what it, what life means and where my priorities are. How's so. it feel getting another nomination, man? It's good, man. It's it's very very good. You know, being a Chinese Canadian. Uh, just trying to represent out here and, and do the best that I can and um, yeah you know I had no one to look up to when I was when I was uh, growing up as a, as a as a mixed race so having that I'm really proud of it
Any new music? And any, uh, I know we're still early, any thoughts of new Christmas music? Uh, new Christmas music will be happening. I, I'm very excited to say that. And I have a new single that will be coming out this year as well, of my own creation, not music, uh, not Christmas related, but uh, which I'm also really excited about. Album four is going to be hitting pretty hard. Cannot wait. Look, have a great time tonight. Congratulations. Always great talk. You too.